Recently, I decided to purchase a 3D printer. And after a bunch of research and reading online, I decided to get the basic Creality Ender 3. It's a low cost printer, less than $200. People said it's super capable. You can upgrade it to print really anything you want, which I've actually did the upgrades kind of ahead of time, following some easy tutorials online to get um, to get that kind of ahead of the curve so I could print more functional parts later, um, like for my sewing projects. Um, so I, I got started, I printed some Benchies out, I think like all of us do, and um, I got good results and I decided to start printing more interesting items. So my intention with this printer originally was to print um, some like Dungeons and Dragons characters and some Yoda busts and things like that, maybe some fidget spinners and, and uh, models and things like that, just normal uh, items that I'd like to manufacture that are easier to print on a printer than they are to go buy because they're actually really expensive to buy those little guys. So uh, on the printer, I can make them for a lot lower cost. So I printed one of these little gear spinner things, which is actually a super cool model. Um, it works really well and you can spin it. It's super practical, uh, it's durable, and I was really impressed. So I was excited to keep printing items. So I, I downloaded a bunch of stuff and just started printing it. And I, one example is this little castle right here. Um, it's a really detailed model. It's got all these little pointy uh, spires on it and the printer did a great job with this guy. So that was, that was really cool. Um, and I was excited to continue moving forward. And, and this video is going somewhere. And this is the reason I'm doing this video I'll get into in a second. It's because I have kind of a big question for you guys because I experienced a lot of strange things with this printer. But at this point in my printer journey, it was pretty normal. I went ahead and printed some functional items like this little fabric uh, seam folder right here for some sewing projects I do. And it came out really nice and actually worked really good. So I did that and I printed a few other items, but then one day I went ahead to print something and my printer made this. And it was strange, um, I wasn't expecting this, but the, the printer printed this item, which I don't think is what I was trying to print originally. And I don't know what this is. It's some sort of, um, it looked to me at the time, like some sort of a, um, like a, maybe an old, like a dinosaur skull model maybe. Like it has some, some nostrils and some eyes and like um, something along, along the top of its head here. Nothing I recognized, but that's all I could figure it was. And it, and it printed pretty solidly actually. I was surprised how long it took to print. It was weird, um, but things got weirder next. Um, it, it went ahead and it printed, it printed this model here. So didn't know what this was either. Don't recognize it, no idea what it could be. Some sort of a prehistoric, um, rhinoceros maybe, but printed this. And, and, it, and it kept printing items like that. And it was, it was weird because it's like a printer of a mind of its own. Like it was not happy with what I was trying to print. And it was trying to print items it wanted to print. It was weird. That's my impression the whole time. That's kind of what I want to ask you guys about. And it printed other stuff. Um, it printed like this dog like item with like little front legs and um, other things like that. And I got a whole bunch of these and we'll get to that in a second. But one day, something more disturbing and cynical, uh, uh, sinister happened. I went ahead and I started the printer. I was kind of excited at this point. Like I didn't know what other creature models it was going to produce. I didn't know what it was going to do next. Um, it kind of, as I said, had a mind of its own. Like it wasn't happy with the items I was trying to print like they were too boring or bland. I don't know. Um, but one day, it printed this item right here. And, and, and at the time, I wasn't quite sure what to think about it, but I, I don't know much about these, but while I was uh, while I was donating to Giffords, I did see some images of, of things that looked like this, and I'm pretty sure that they were guns. So this is like, this look, this was very gun-like looking to me. Like it had this grip grip on it and this barrel up front um, and, and, and a trigger. So I guess this is probably the trigger. So it was really gun-like. That was kind of scary at, at first. I don't know if it is a gun or not. At the time, I didn't at least. Um, so my printer printed this. And um, that was my first clue, um, if that makes sense. And I kept printing and, and it printed more. It printed more items like it. Like this one ran out of filament, had to do a change. But they were different, but it kind of had the similar features. Like they both have triggers, they both have barrels and these grips. So it was, it was weird. Like I, I wasn't quite sure, but I was curious and they didn't, they didn't like seem like other guns. I'd, like they were just like, um, models or miniatures of guns almost. They were just like plastic. So I, I kept kept printing. I got I got some things like this as well, which were similar. Like they're different, but similar. So these, I don't know what these were. These look more like a dog model, except they have that same grip on it. Like almost like the rhinoceros that it printed before, but the, the rhinoceros didn't have this tail. This one had this big tail or, or almost like a grip. So that was weird. Um, so at that point I was getting really 
concerned. So I, I got online on some forums and on Twitter and I, I posted a bunch of pictures of these parts and asked some questions and I got a lot of replies. Some of them were weird, uh, weird replies, but I got a lot of replies, people I know telling me like, um, these need to be assembled uh, to complete the model and I need to get parts and I got links and stuff. So I decided, okay, this is some kind of, they, they said this was a model for an orca. Um, uh, and an orca, of course, if you guys don't know, is a killer whale, um, a really cool animal. And uh, a model of an orca would be awesome. Now these didn't quite look like orca parts, but they said once you assemble, they'd be a lot more recognizable. You needed some little metal parts to help bolt everything together. So I went ahead, um, spent the money, bought a kit uh, from this guy who has this weird website. Um, Hoffman Tech. So I went ahead and I bought the parts and I, and I followed the instructions I was sent. Uh, you know, people gave me, gave me recommendations and I went ahead and assembled this Orca. And um, I had a bunch of different parts. The printer printed a lot more than one. Um, so this one here was the result with all the recommended parts. I followed the instructions, put it together, and this is what I got. So I was surprised at the number of springs and levers that this had, almost like it's an animatronic model. Um, so I, at first I, I finished this up but looking at it, it just, it's almost like an orca. It's got a fin on the back and, and stuff, but it, it just doesn't look like an orca. So it, it was strange. I, I just wasn't, I, at this point I wasn't sure. Like I, so I, I was thinking, okay, weird orca model. The designer didn't know what he was doing. So I kept asking questions and there was another model, which I, I went ahead and assembled. People said it was supposed to be, uh, it was a German word. I call it Kleiner Fried Shop. I, I don't, I can't pronounce it. It was a German word. I thought it was some sort of, um, a uh, German animal, something. It was a model of something. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and assemble it. And the result was this. Now, when I finished this, this is when I really got concerned because this does not, I mean, this, this looks like a gun. I, at this point, I, I don't know what to do with this. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's weird to push. So at this point, I have a question for you guys, my audience who's viewing this video. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. My experience has been that, that this 3D printer is not happy printing items like this, just little models and stuff. It appears to want to print guns. Is this normal? Is there any way of fixing it? Or do 3D printers just make gun parts? It looks like the 3D printers just make guns and they make things like, like this, like this gun. So let me know below, guys, um, if that's the case. Right now, the printer's just running. I have no idea what it's printing. Um, it just keeps printing stuff. So I guess I'll just keep seeing what it makes and hopefully none of them are too dangerous or scary. So we'll, we'll see, but so far I'm pretty concerned. I can't print what I wanna print and I'm just printing what my printer wants to print. So yeah, let me know down, down below. Do 3D printers only print guns? So thanks for watching guys and I'll be sure to read those comments and see what your thoughts are.